Isaac Tegzayat here. Welcome back to another episode of how to create parametric word fencing. Okay, I have shown you the other two methods, which is now method one and method two. So this method three is a miscellaneous method. If you want, you can make use of it or not. That is based on you. Okay, let's see how to create that family. First, you go to file, open family. I would like metric generic model and open it up. Nice. This is what we have. So that fencing I was talking about is not very long. It's just about 1.5 meters by 1.5 meters sometimes it's even 1.7 meters by 1.7 meters but let's try to create something reasonable let's make it 2 meters by 1.7 meters first create an extrusion I would like to have a circle so it's consistent of various pipe, pipes of iron. This one, this is the smallest pipe, which is I would like it to be a centimeter, which is the radial should be five. Nice, and then five. Sorry. and then okay good it starts from zero I do not want that this I want the height of the iron iron bar or you like them call it iron bar I want the height of it to be 1.5 right I want the total height should be 1.7 but the height of the iron bar is 1.5 okay let's make it 1.5 which is 1500 and then no let's leave it at 16 let me leave it at 16 and I want to offset it by a particular distance so 500 above and 500 below which is 1050 sorry I said 500 550 and press and apply I don't know if 50 is kind of small 50 is too small then make this one one five and let me make this 100 I think that's okay I would like to array this let's see how many bars from here to about 20 yes let me see 20 hmm. if it's 20 so the distance from here to here is what? It's ten. I think it's a bit too small. I want it. I want it to be um, something like twenty in between, which is two centimeters. No, two centimeters is too small. I want a very reasonable width. Hundred should be okay. Hundred should be okay. Yeah, 100 should be okay. So, from here, from the middle, 
to your diameter let me click on 100 good so 100 plus 100 how many hundred do I have in 2000 I have about 20 hundred so I would like to have 10 this side and 10 the other side so I will have make it 9 let me make it let me make it 8 I will show you why I make it I made it 8 good so this one I want another 100 16 and then select the entire array and then move it this is one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight this is the eighth one so it's somewhere here So I would like it to be in between these guys. So I will move it again by let's see 50. Move it by 50. Yeah, it's at the middle now. Okay. And we finish it up. Let's see it in our three dimension. This is our bus. good now I would like to cross it up by creating another extrusion I have created another extrusion okay Red extrusion pick um, it should be back and front, it should be left and right. So I like it to be left and right, and then okay. Which anyone is okay for me. Let's try out the right and see. There it is. Good. From here, I want another circle. Nice. Okay. Copy this. I move it sorry I said copy move this to this please nice and then re not yet I am not already yet nice finish good let me change the distance go to back elevation I want to change the distance to start from the beginning. Uh, 
and the other one too. It can be aligned, is a curve. No problem, it is roughly to that. And then let's go back to right again. So I would like to array it now to last click on last and then click on this please and you now click on this please good I'm going to change the number to let's see 10 and let's see let me check it out in 3d we have something like this. Let me see five. Mm, I think I'll prefer this. This is better for me. It's better. Nice, but still. I'm going to remove the one on top and the one below. Let's control Z, Z. And, uh, let me change the number to seven. Then OK. And I remove the one on top. And I remove the one below. Mm, much more better. OK. Now I am done with this one. I would like to create a sweep here from this direction to this direction this way. So let me go to my flow level and then create a sweep. Now I want to sketch the path, set a plane. I want it to be back and front. Okay. Up on the back. Nice. I don't know. Is it a bit too thick? I don't have problem. So take this from here. All the way down to this place. Nice. And then finish. Now edit profile. Go for ride. Nice. The other one we were able to use the diameter of the radius of five and which is diameter of one centimeter. So this one I would like to use two centimeters which is one centimeter nice it is one centimeter good but I like to move it I'm sorry I would like to move it a bit to this place but I don't want this to come out so click on the arrow key at that distance is okay create your sweep and then create your sweep and let's see it in our three dimension it's okay but things like this I don't want things like this I don't want nice okay it's okay I don't know I think the height is a bit too much but let's just leave it this way let's just leave it this way so I would like to create 
a bit of a rectangular extrusion maybe from here I don't know I think this profile is a bit too small for my liking edit profile select profile right let me make it let me make it 15 it's a bit too small save 15 press an ok and does it I think it's better I want the difference to be boldly clear that let's move it with the arrow key to about this place is okay I want the difference to be clear that this is clear like this I want the thickness of this to be clear to be much different okay let's go to reference flow and create an extrusion again now I want this extrusion to be something like this pages one centimeter is okay no five is okay not one one should be 30 good I think it's okay move no, it's in the right position but I would like to move it a bit into this place as well So I should move a bit into this place and now I want to create a void extrusion void extrusion set a plane I want it to be back and front Okay, turn up the back. Okay, here is my profile. It's too long, but let's cancel it out. Yes. I think this size should be okay or oh, should I make it long a bit <laughs> yeah this should be okay and then create a void extrusion I want it to be 5 centimeters which is 2.5 Radio. Okay. I'll just leave it at five, no problem. Sorry. Okay, 
what I'm trying to do I'm trying to create a hinge so I want to move it to about this place and then create and then mirror good let's see it in our three dimension nice it's okay now I can copy this and put it I'll go to the back elevation I can copy this and array it from here last This time, I pick on the multiple. Just around this place. I think that's it. That's it. So and I want to mirror it if it's possible. Let me just pick. Yeah, it's possible. Nice. Okay. Let's see that in our three dimension. This is not cut in my form. Cut. And I would like to create a post nice let me create a post a post here so the video is getting too long a post here i want to create a post 
create an extrusion and uh, let's see the other one I use 15 right for right there this time I want about 25 And then close up my circle. Nice. Move it out of the way. About about this distance is okay and click on it so it should start from zero this time around to one thousand seven hundred so you see that's the reason why I said I want a bit of a difference between them you see so that was my main reason I don't want it to be aligned with this place so I want and uh, I want a bit of a gap between them so this hinge i kind of created the hinge now i want to create the hinge lock <laughs> okay go back to reference now still extrusion good go to pick line pick this line go to line to And then use the mirror to mirror nice and then pick line offset it by what the distance um, let's say by five let's say by five That's the distance I chose here. Yeah. I use three. Okay, by five is okay. By five is okay. And then use the line to. So. Oopsie. I'm gonna to extend and then finish up your drawing. Go to the back elevation. Check out my three dimension. This was what I was trying to like. I'm reverting it up. Good. And um, go back to my back elevation. Now, I'd like to copy this. Multiple copy. Remove the constraint. multiple copy the time is limited oh God. the time is limited so I don't think I will create a knot for you and it's creating a knot to go into this hinges what's wrong with this thing copy I my snapping tool I think you should snap to this 
Mortal Gun Shane. Always find something that your drawing can snap to. Well, there will be a problem. Good. Now you can select all those three. Don't select the post here, then mirror it. Because if you select the post, use the pick reference and mirror. That's it. Now we created our family. We have it this way. We can save it. Okay, sorry. I kind of forgot something. If I have this for my hinge, I would like to mirror it also to the other side. So you see, I don't have a post. I don't have a post here. So I think there is no need of this one here. Going to slot. There is no need of the other one there. Let's use this one and then pick line mirror. That's it. If it's arrayed, this hinge here will slot into this place successfully, and we have our fence. Okay. There is no need of having the other, the other hinge there. But other we have. I don't think I was able to mirror all. I was not able to mirror one. What is a big line mirror? Ah, then. Yeah. Let's select the other one and then delete. Good. Let's save our family. Save us. It took a bit of time to finish this family. Hmm, what do I save it with? Let's see, fence three. Fence three. And then save. Good. Now I can open up my other family which is line based generic model line based and then open it up go back to your family one I guess which is this and then load into project family two nice and yeah here we have it very nice family and then drag it out good align it align this to this lock it always remember to lock it align this this and lock it nice and then select it and array to end the last so going to use this point here to my last reference and align it to align always lock so align lock again nice we have this and this is our number let's create a parameter let's see f for fence and make it an instance parameter okay good Go to family type, create another parameter for the length. Let's make it L for length. Also make it an instance parameter and then good. Press OK and press OK. 
I would like to know the distance, this length of my of my fence. It's very important. Very very important. From here all the way to this place. Seventeen point seven one thousand seven hundred and five. Well, one seven o oh five. That old tree is it o oh five? And then do the maths. Shift length. Add th. Divide by our length L and press an OK. We are done. Now to check if it's correct. Now you see my and then save it also to what you want. Revit family. Sorry, is it open? Save as trying to save the family and let's make it family three point one. Good. Save. Fence family three point one. I forgot I save it. So to project and okay sorry this video is a bit long now create a flooring a floor and finish it up we have our floor auto component here is our wall here is our fence nice and let's check it out and see if it comes out correctly or not. See, here is our fence. Is that realistic? Really? Sometimes if you have your fence this way you can use the three dimension to create your family and you can check out if the length is correct and that's it now you see i have it this way realistic so guys we are going to stop here for today this video is too long here is a parametric fence i'll definitely share this fence in the description of the video so you can use it in any project you want thank you guys if you have any question you can comment me if you like this video please hit on the like button thank you very much for watching let's see same time tomorrow for another interesting lesson or video bye let's see you tomorrow goodbye